on a stunning setting in America's biggest city. Welcome to what could be one of the most significant days in the LPGA 73 year history as an American amateur superstar tries to win just days after winning her second straight NCAA title and turning pro. Grant Boone Morgan Pressel watching some of the chasers like India's Aditya Shook for birdie at six. She has been so close to find, looking for her first title on the LPGA Tour over the last month. Could today be the day? Here's another college star and now an LPGA winner, Jennifer Cupcho at seven. Listen to this one. In the hole for an eagle two at the seven. That tied her for the lead. And then Roseng, no birdies, Morgan, but some impressive short game skills like at eight. Going off to a bit of a rough start with a bogey on the fourth hole. All pars otherwise. So up to the moment, Rose Zhang, one over for the day, but tied for the lead with Jennifer Cupcho. They're lining up behind them on what could be a huge day on the LPGA Tour. It's the final round of the Mizuho America's Open. She earned all the amateur accolades. And Rose Zhang's just going to take care of business. And the best in the world is a champion at Augusta National. Accomplished unprecedented feats. History at Greyhawk. Rose Zhang, the first ever woman to win an individual title on multiple occasions, goes back to back. And this week, as the Mizuho Americas Open debuts, so too has 20-year-old Rose Zhang as a pro. After three sensational rounds, with Liberty National's Big Apple backdrop, the California kid is coming of age with a chance to do something not seen since the LPGA's infancy. Begin with a win. But like all rare achievements, it won't be easy as talented challengers lurk. Will Zhang wow the world of golf again? History is in the making at Liberty National. NBC Sports and the LPGA Tour proudly present the season-long race to the CME Globe. From Jersey City, New Jersey, it's final round coverage of the Mizuho Americas Open. The inaugural event here at Liberty National as the LPGA's best have come here into the shadow of the statue to this stunning layout. Mizuho Americas, the title sponsor of this first year event and the first ever start as a professional for Rose Zhang. Someone's gonna hoist that trophy for the first time. It could be Rose, could be another first time winner. Morgan and I are joined by Tom Abbott and out on the golf course, Kay Cockrell and Karen Stupples. Big move from Jennifer Cupcho today. As a, a rare shadow comes out here in what's been a chilly gray weekend. This to stay tied with Zhang and no. Now they're three putt there on the 12th hole. Tough hole location if you miss that ridge through the middle of the green. A little bit of a wait for Rose Zhang. Maybe time for a snack. Just days ago, won her second straight NCAA title and announced she was turning professional. And a quick study. Up on the greener by it is uh, Tom Abbott. Anna Wilson playing out of the bunker there. Not an easy shot, Kate Cockrell out watching. Tom, I can see why this part three is playing so difficult. The wind is howling across right to left, and it's very hard to find the surface of this green. 
Un Hee Ji, like Jennifer Cupcho, had a share of the lead at one point earlier today, but she has missed that par putt and will drop her second shot of the day. So back to eight under goes the U.S. Open champion from 2009. One AJGA player, two professionals in each group. There's a separate competition for the AJGA girls, and uh, the standard of golf has been very high. This is a DT from the same bunker at 11. Very difficult to uh, very close to the back lip, hitting up to an elevated green that sloped away from her. She's worked so much on her bunker play, trying to elicit more spin. That was just a very difficult shot. Bogey putt for Jennifer Cupcho. And after a wild start to this final round, it is Rose Zhang again, alone at the top. One over for the day, 10 under for the tournament, and leading it here in the final round. Welcome to the Mizuho Americas Open. And as we said, perhaps one of the biggest days in recent LPGA history. That happens, Morgan, when you're trying to do something that hasn't been done since 1951. Win your first start as a professional. Rosang has a chance. It has been truly remarkable what Rose has already been able to accomplish this week. Her first event turning professional just the end of last week, coming off NCAAs. She thought she would be fighting to make the cut. Yeah. Well, lo and behold, now she's fighting to win her first event and become an LPGA Tour member. Something that every young girl dreams of being is an LPGA Tour member. That would give Rose a lot more flexibility this season in getting into so many more events. She already has quite a few sponsors exemptions lined up, but that would take a lot of freedom and, of course, just getting it done, getting the win. And it would also make her eligible for the Solheim Cup, which as of now she is not. But Morgan, let's just think about what's not just at stake here today, but what she's been through over the last couple of years and the number of huge events that she has contended to win and won. How does today compare trying to win on the LPGA Tour compared, let's say, from just recently at the Augusta National Women's Amateur and the NCAA just a few days ago? My mind certainly goes to the Augusta National Women's Amateur, where all eyes were on Rose Zhang, as they are here this week. It was the event that she was expected to win, the only one that was left from her stellar amateur career that she had not yet won. Went into the final round with a five-shot lead, got off to quite a rough start, admitted to being nervous, lost her swing, was hitting it in all different directions, had a bit of a rain delay, was able to recover, ended up winning in a playoff. And, and that was impressive, the way that she was able to bounce back under no. that immense scrutiny. We've kind of seen a little bit of the same out here today, just not firing on, on, on all cylinders, only hit six greens so far today, considering she hit over 80% for the first three days. She's going to need to tighten up her ball striking. Wow, nice putt, Yana. Rose going to have to tighten up her ball striking a little bit if she's going to want to hoist this trophy at the end of the day. Yeah, she's waiting on that 11th to clear. Yeah, nice uh, pop up there for Yana. She uh, just come off back to back bogeys, so uh, stops the rock. Now a shot for par. Downwind, right to left, breaking putt. Yeah, she she pulls off that, knowing that this it's going to have right to left movement, and with the wind helping, it may make it snap a little quicker. Has to be sure she starts this enough on the right side. All right, did move a lot. I'm not sure I had the pace to get there. Just Tom, one. It feels like a matter of survival out here. We're getting similar conditions to yesterday, where that wind's picking up. It's getting colder, and I think I think par is going to make the difference versus making a lot of birdies out here. Yeah, and you've got top holes coming in. You've got the two hardest holes back to back at 14 and 15, uh, 17 and 18. Not easy either. So this is going to be exciting, really, to see who can hang on against these conditions. This is Cup Show of the tee at 13. It's a hole that a number of players have been 
able to reach in two, but there's water lurking short of the green and water coming more into play if you go straight at the flag today. Well, here's that tough 14th and one of the few players under par on the golf course, Danielle Kang for birdie. It's playing as the hardest hole on this golf course today. Only the second birdie of the day here at the 14th. Talk about it being a tough day. We should note that there are no bogey free rounds out on the golf course, which I think amplifies what Rose has done. No birdies, but only one bogey for Rose and the lead 11 again. Cheyenne Knight for her par. Saw the putt from the DT snap left, and that one does too. And it just didn't get it going with enough pace on that line. It's been a very frustrating day for Cheyenne Knight. It's going to be her fourth bogey of the round. No birdies. And she falls back, having started the day in a tie for second. She's going to fall out of the top ten. So a patient wait for Roseanne. Stubbles out following Straight. the final group for us. Oh, yeah. from the right hand side. Screen and, and close to that flag, you're going to have to start this probably on the right side of the TV tower and still try and hold it a little bit to fight that wind. You don't want to get any kind of turning over movement going on this because you'll miss this green left pretty quickly if you do that. So many balls in that left bunker today. Oh, this looks good. It's a similar wind to her shot on 16 yesterday that nearly went on the hole off the tee where she played a little bit of a cut to hold it up against that crosswind. That would have been good for yesterday's hole location, which was tucked on the back shelf. It's going to be a, a quicker putt there for Rose. She's going to come down the ridge in the green, but she has found the dance floor on the difficult par 3 11th. Hi, I'm Jerry Rosieri. We are thrilled to be the title sponsor of the inaugural Mizuho America's Open. Mizuho Americas is a leading corporate and investment bank and part of one of the largest financial institutions in the world. So why are we doing this? And why the LPGA? Well, let me show you. We pride ourselves on being an industry leader where many of our divisions are led by women. We strive to create an environment that fosters a diversity of ideas and a high performing culture where every employee feels valued and each client sees us as their trusted partner. We provide our clients with innovative solutions across investment and corporate banking, equities, and fixed income. Today, our shared values are on display. We created a purpose-driven tournament that celebrates women, promotes equity, and advances the next generation of talent. We are so proud to support the pros, amateurs, and Girls Inc. as we host the Mizuho Americas Open. Back on the 13th, and this is the second shot for Jennifer Kupcho. Kate Cockrell has joined this group for us. Yeah, and this uh, just a little out of reach for her to go for this in two. Normally aggressive and a long ball hater, but this is the right play here today. He marks the Canada geese there. And just avoiding the divot. Big event of the LPGA this week and NBC Sports Championship season moved by pods continues with the U.S. Open on the men's side from L.A. Country Club June 15th through 18th on NBC, USA and Peacock. This is the par for 12th and it is Korea's Hedon Yu, a 22 year old rookie who has been so impressive in her first season. Three times she's been second heading into the final round. And in contention here, just two back. A 
11. And Rose Zhang looking for her first birdie of the day. I'm not sure this is uh, a putt that you would say is a, is a particularly makeable one. This one might need a little bit of uh, a delicate touch here, Karen. I would say so, Tom, that is for sure. But she's kind of faced these all day today. Um, she hasn't had any kind of realistic birdie opportunities today. Um, the putts have been long and they've all been having to negotiate these these slopes and undulations in the green. And she's missed a number of greens as well that she's been able to, to make some really good saves from as well. This particular putt, um, for the most part, it's the, the first half of it is pretty flat at the back edge of the green. And when she's standing just there, there's a big slope down towards the hole. So you've got to get the speed right, pick a little spot at the top of that slope and let it trickle down towards the hole. As it goes down the slope, the, the hole looks like it's tilted to the left. Speed is everything. Let's see if she does her little move here. She uses her putter head to measure out how far back. Yep, here she goes. How far? Oh, not taking back that far. Only two putter lengths this time. Yesterday, we saw her go as many as five. but her name has been in the headlines of golf uh, for quite a while now. 12 collegiate wins at Stanford. That's the most in school history. Only been there a couple of years. Twice a winner of the NCAA Division I women's individual title. That's a record. U.S. women's amateur title. U.S. girls junior champion. And, of course, the Augusta National women's amateur, which she won earlier this year. She had done everything she needed to do in the amateur game and it was time to move into the pro ranks and she chose this week the association of course with Michelle Wee West who's the tournament host here who went to Stanford is going to be joining us in the booth uh, in a short while and it, uh, it's a good place to do it right in uh, the backdrop of New York City now cut show at 13 in the correct portion of the green. And has given herself a chance for a birdie. Back over to 12. And the second for a DT is short. Trying to punch something under the wind. Looks like it's turning away from the hole. We'll be on that bottom shelf. We've seen players struggle with that putt all day. It's three putt city down there. A Rose has been tied a few times. She's never given up the lead. She is at 11, Tom. Yeah, this for a par. Tricky one here, Tom. Um, it is going to break to the right, but the wind is from the right. players uh, today without a birdie. Two are in this group. Rose, Natalia Tidikov. Today's coverage is brought to you by Mizuho Americas, a corporate and investment bank that's more than just a name. By Skechers Go Golf, comfort-driven styles worn by Brooke Henderson. And by CME Group, where risk meets opportunity. This is how it looks here as the last groups play the back nine at the 12th. Rosang well left of the fairway. And what does she have, Karen? I mean, if it just runs just through the green, that's actually not too bad. Oh, a place to be? Yeah, if it doesn't, I don't think we want to be too short. It's going to be straight in. Four 
06 yet. The middle of the green is pure mod, it's like 30, 60 seconds. Chasing after him. Wow. That was spectacular. What a recovery. I mean, maybe it's a better angle from over there. <laughs> she found an opening. Yeah. <laughs> terrible downhill lie. Having to get it up over the trees. She knew we she hit it well. We haven't seen anybody get it anywhere near this hole on 12. And I love this running up the hill, knowing it could be pretty good. But I want to watch this. She'll have that for her first birdie of the day and to regain the two shot lead she had when the round started. Notable tournaments hosted by greats in the men's and women's game. Arnold Palmer, of course, longtime host of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. This week, Jack hosting the Memorial Tournament. Got Tiger Woods at the Genesis Invitational. It is rarefied air. Annika is going to be the host at the Annika driven by Gamebridge at Pelican toward the end of the year. And Michelle Wee West, our host this week at the Mizuho America's Open. She joined us on Thursday. She's here with us again. First, before we talk about Rose Zhang, who I know looks up to you as a mentor. Michelle, just tell us about the week and how it's gone. Oh, my God. Can you pinch me? How am I in that group of players that were just shown on screen? This is unbelievable. It's been such a fun week. Honestly, Mizuho has been such an amazing partner to this event. Um, you know, the Fireman family, Liberty National. I could not have dreamt up a better place. I mean, look at the background. Every shot here is unbelievable, and this week has really gone great. Um, it's great to see the juniors playing so well. You know, obviously, Rose being on top of the leaderboard, we could not have dreamt it better. Um, but I'm having, I'm having a really fantastic week. It is a spectacular venue, but let's highlight Rose. How are you feeling heading into today? Your fellow Stanford Cardinal out there trying to fight for her first win. I'm nervous. I've been pacing around all day. I mean, the conditions are tough out here and, um, you know, I just very nervous, very, very nervous. But I think this is a shot that she pulled off from the trees is hopefully going to give her that boost that she needs. That's an impressive shot. Morgan said earlier to me, Michelle, that that Rose's debut as professional is the biggest on the LPGA Tour that she can remember since you turned professional back uh, in 2005. You played great that week. You played great in your first start as a professional. What is the hardest part for Rose playing in the fishbowl this week? And then what's the best part about it for her, do you think? Yeah, I mean, I was super nervous. Um, you know, I think I, I played well that week, but didn't end well. Great for me. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's it's hard when you're in it. Honestly, you're not as nervous as, you know, you think you would be from the outside looking in because you're just so in it. I'm sure she's not looking on social media. I'm sure she's not, um, you know, reading articles about her. So when you're actually in, it's almost like the eye of the storm. When you're in the middle, it's almost like things are calm, especially today. I'm hoping things are calm for her. She's looking poised as ever, calm as ever. Um, and, yeah, I mean, you too. I mean, we were both so young when we did it. I think, honestly, when you're young too, there's honestly no bad memories. Your first tournaments, honestly, sometimes are easiest because you have no bad memories connected to anything. It's just it's such a fresh start that you're out there. You've, you're not afraid of anything. No scar tissue. Exactly. Are no you more nervous tissue. watching Rose or playing in your first event as a professional? 
Oh, way more nervous right now um, because there's nothing I can do to control it or help out or anything, um, but she's doing fantastic. And you were an assistant captain for the Solheim Cup team in 2021 when Jennifer Cupcho and Lizette Salas played so brilliantly as a team. Here's Jennifer trying to win her fourth LPGA event. She's one off the lead at 14. She's a fierce competitor. Um, as we saw at Solheim, she's made some huge putts, nerves of steel. Um, obviously a major champion at such a young age. Um, you know, the tougher the conditions get, the players like Jennifer Cupcho shines. 13. Just hate on you. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Go the green in two. Trying to chip it in for birdie. Still has a chance for a par. She's back on eight under. So she's a couple behind, has a chance. Back at the 14th. 129 yards. What makes it so tough, Morgan? Look at this hole location today. It looks like it's almost off the green on the right. Three paces off the right. It's such an intimidating shot. It's not a long hole or a big green, but tough to get it close. Tell us about your relationship with Rose and how it's developed over the last couple of years, Michelle. I mean, I look up to her. She's just, uh, you know, such an amazing player, and she seems way older than her years. Um, I'm just incredibly, uh, you know, just proud of her. Um, you know, we always talk about how much fun she has at Stanford, and we connect over that. Um, and it's just great to see that she has such a great balance between school life and professional life. And she, after that incredible second shot on the way left of the fairway over the trees has this for her first birdie of the day and this to regain a two shot lead and Karen we've been talking about the fact that she hasn't made a birdie but it's been the other players some of the proven winners who have fallen back a bit and it's Rose who has hung tough well I mean the conditions out here are, are as bad as tough as we've seen all week and um, Rose has been scrambling really nicely, getting herself out of some trouble. But this is her first real opportunity um, that she's had uh, since the day has begun to get a red number on the board. Beautiful just... misjudge of pace. Hit that a good bit too hard, Karen. Well, I think when you Maybe try to force uh, it in there. Yeah, when you've had so few opportunities, it's uh, it comes that way sometimes. And here is that stunning setting at the 14th Statue of Liberty there in the distance. And Unhi G, U.S. Open champion from 2009, has a long putt for birdie. She's not very far from where the hole was located yesterday, but yes, going across almost the entire diagonal of the screen. Cupcho is going to pay close attention as she'll have a similar line. She'll watch and see what this does at the end. I think Uni hit that a little too firmly to give a true read. Michelle, you've been out there. It's chilly, isn't it? And the temperatures are dropping as well. I'm mean, gonna I have a puffer jacket, a puffer vest on. I might change into a full-on puffer jacket soon. Back at the 12th, the par putt for Anna Davis. This for two points. Huge event for these 24 AJGA juniors, a prestigious title. They've played here before. And back we go to the 14th, and Jennifer Cupcho, long putt for birdie. If it drops, she'll regain a share of the lead. I think you guys talked about it a little earlier, but the first two days of the competition, the wind was coming out of the south, southeast. It was warm, humid, just a little breeze. And then thing change, things changed, and this north wind has really cooled things down and made this golf course very difficult. Again, the ball's not flying as far. It's very hard to control it. But this putt, a good 40-footer with some left-to-right movement. Most movement may be early and then try to flatten out as it gets near the hole. Yes. 
She learned a little bit from Unhee's putt there. Not surprised to see that one end up short after Uni nearly puts it off the green. Back to 13. And hate on you to save par. This is the third oh. easiest hole on the golf course. And he had six bogeys here today, and that is the wrong time to be dropping a shot, falling back to seven under par. She's likely to be three back. Of course, Rose has this one to stay at 10 under. Yeah, a little bit left here for par. There is. And, um, but again, she's so consistent with her routines and uh, how she goes about her business on the golf course. It looks unflappable. Eleven pars, and just a single bogey on the card for Rose Zhang. Michelle, I know you're going to go watch uh, the last six holes here. Whoever gets that trophy from you, I know, is going to be thrilled. And congratulations to you on a great week. Thank you so much. All right, Michelle, we are host of the Mizuho America's Open. Rose Zhang leading it by one, trying to become the first in more than 70 years to turn pro and win her first start on the LPGA Tour. Back on the 13th, Rose Zhang, four under on the back nine this week. She's three under on this hole alone. So this has been a, a lucrative spot for her. Let's see if she can get it up and down. And what does she face here, Karen? Well, I mean, she's playing right across the green. So that's not a problem at all. She's on a little down slope, so the trajectory of this ball should come out fairly low. She's going to be landing it. Um, well, it depends on which pot she's picked, but I'm looking at a spot that's fairly flat, halfway between the edge of the green and the hole, and we'll just get it to release back up to the hole from there. But and you could fly it a little bit deeper than that and get it to check and stop as well. But she is playing this quite back in her stance for a really low running shot here. What have you noticed, Karen, about Rose and her demeanor today as she struggled a little bit as opposed to yesterday? You could see that earlier on she was um, a little bit flustered, not so much flustered, but, um, but her head was hanging a little bit lower than you would see her walking with it normally up high. Um, but over the course of the day, she's kind of still kept her chin up and uh, still kept, you know, kept fighting, kept in it. Let's take a look at our insights by KPMG. Most weeks as the world's number one amateur, Rose 141. She overtook Lydia Ko's record of most consecutive weeks at that number one spot on the 20th of March with 131 weeks. Leona Maguire had the record for the most total at 136. G to birdie at 15. Trying to make a late push, Tom. And time is, uh, time and holes are dwindling. Yeah, running out of time, but you never know. Let's take a look at this tee shot of a DT with our top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance. You might be able to make out the flag blowing just over the bunker on the right. Center of the green here. Smart play. That's where. Most people are going to end up, as we've already seen in our coverage, putting up and over a slope. Just so tough to challenge that whole location. Still only two birdies today on the 14th. Now, Cup Cho for par. Great up and down. There's champion stuff there from Cup Cho. Saving par at 15. Having been in trouble off the tee. That is. A big, big up and down. Now back over at the 13th. This is Anna Davis. Anna was in a very similar spot to, to Rose with a, with a tee shot and decided to lay back farther in the fairway and have a wedge to this point of the green. This puts back uphill. Go. 
So that's going to be two points. That'll put her at 134. And it just hasn't quite been able to get that putter working today, Tom. Been a little bit cold. She's three points behind Yana Wilson, who had or has won three seven at this point. I mean, it's very difficult to uh, to get a gauge here because obviously you get more points the further you are through your round. So to me, it's it's the three point difference between Anna Davis and Yana Wilson. That will all become much clearer once they get to the final couple of holes. Now, Rose Zhang for the first birdie of her round. I mentioned her on the putting green earlier today. I mean, she was rolling these putts in quite effortlessly. I think you have to try and draw from that. You know, those smooth strokes you will make on the putting green and bring it out here to the course. Big putt. Oh, yeah. goes oh. She just can't get it to drop. Had a good chance on the previous hole after that wonderful recovery. And that was primed for her first birdie. So she's keeping it very interesting here. A lot of movement there, Morgan. It's just so hard to win, Tom, with all the pressure and wanting it. Oh, yeah. It like oh. just ran out of pace. It wasn't a bad putt, particularly. It just didn't have the speed to hold its line. Trying to win on her pro debut. Has a one-shot lead here, but it's tight at Liberty National. Today's coverage is brought to you by Mizuho Americas, a corporate and investment bank that's more than just a name. And by Win Grips, the best grips in golf. We're going to watch Anna Davis at the par 3 14th with our top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance. Back into that wind. Just really tough hole location. I would set up better for a lefty. Draw it into yeah. that wind. What a shot. Fails Yana Wilson by five points in the AJGA competition. 15. Hit on you for birdie up that ridge there. Tracking, but it's going to be a four. Four's not a bad score at 15. Chance to make it up comes at this hole, the 16th. And from the Atlanta, Georgia area, Sarah M at the par four 16th. Second shot here. Williams hit some lovely golf shots today. Hit her tee shot over here on the left hand side. It's in a good lie. Show some short rough. Bit of downhill lie. Plenty of green to work with. See if she can judge it right to get it down that slope. Oh, how about that touch, folks? Oh, that's <laughs> that close to a five point eagle. The mover in front. You might have uh, seen her hit some great short shots at the 2018 dry chip and putt national finals champ. What a stage for these players high school players from all over the world really. And it's awesome. It's a wonderful experience. I was talking to Kiara Romero on the putting green and she said. I didn't realize we were going to be so close to the professionals. It feels like we're in the tournament. Yeah. And that was one of the big surprises for her coming into this week. She said it's just been so awesome. And again, Rosang was one of them not that long ago. This is her third straight good look at birdie. This is the 14th chance to increase the lead to two. And this one is just a little bit back downhill, but back into the wind. Just trying to visualize the line here. We're all just feel like waiting on the edge of our seats for a putt to go in, and she has just not been able to 
to get the ball in the bottom of the hole yet today and still leading this tournament. Just a second to go at 16, the second for Unhee G. Little 30 pace pitch shot, also negotiating that slope down to the little bowl where the hole's located. I haven't seen an ace like you wondered if we might, but uh, still a few more groups to come through here. This is where the tee shot of Kupcho came to rest. One foot in, one foot out, Kay. Very unfortunate to have that ball released through to the back of this bunker. There's Awful nothing. Stance. Kay, there's nothing but trouble on the other side oh. of this. She landed it exactly where she needed to. Wow. wow. <laughs> Feet. I mean, that is just took a ton of athleticism, eye-hand coordination, trust. I mean, she's two feet from the edge of the green on the other side, and she hit a perfect shot. That was so dangerous. There were, were so many things that could have gone wrong there. And what a shot. If she goes on to win, remember the save at 15 and then the bunker shot at 16. Anna Davis for birdie at 14. Seems to be cellophane over these holes today. Nothing wants to be dropping. This group may be feeding off of each other a little bit, Karen. A more famine. And feast tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. It's golf's longest day presented by Titleist. Golf Channel and Peacock following the path of thousands of hopefuls. Qualifiers for the U.S. Open at L.A. Country Club. We have drama here at Liberty National as we take you to 15. Second shot for a DTS shot. Let's see if she can get this one into the right portion of the green. It's almost like there are three... Greens in one. No, that one is going to miss right. DP3 back. Can't really afford a mistake. Signature par 314. And Rose Zhang with a little bit of work here. She's handled these tests. Has it made any birdies, Karen? But she's made a lot of putts like this and even longer. The par. Yeah, she has. And, um... I mean, she's hitting more greens now on this back line and giving herself more opportunities than she did on the front. But as the holes start ticking away, the nerves do start to get a little bit more on this length putt. But she's showing no sign of that. Really solid stroke there. Good rhythm, good tempo. Doesn't look quick or tight. Your hands can get a little bit tight under pressure. Making the stroke a little bit more jerky. That looked nice and smooth. No birdies at all. By even Anna Davis in that final group today. A birdie putt to tie the lead for Kupcho. Oh, she knew it immediately that she didn't hit it how she wanted to. It's almost like she fell in love with the line and forgot to hit it. It was right on line. Again, another putt that just comes up a little bit short. Runs out of pace for Jennifer. You contrasted her with Aditi, who is confident with the putter. Something to watch here coming down the stretch. Now Unhee Ji, a brilliant pitch shot. And a player, as Tom mentioned, has been out here a long time. She won in Rochester in 2008, early in her career, then won the U.S. Women's Open, Saucon Valley in Pennsylvania, coming from behind to deny Christy Kerr another U.S. Open. She's had a brilliant career and still with a chance here. She has seen and, and done it all in her career. All over the world she's played. And uh, that was a really timely birdie. See how she can handle 17 and 18. So she moves within one of Rose Zhang, who is headed to the par four, 15th. Morgan, tell us about it. Tough dog leg left par four. There you see that left fairway bunker, the one that Jennifer Kupcho found herself in. It's an automatic layup if you end up in their whole location today, all the way on the back left. It's tough to get it close. There's only been five birdies today on this hole. Playing as the second hardest hole of the week. 
wind into the fa into your face or mostly right to left, especially on this tee shot, the dog leg. Back on the tee at 15, Rose Zhang with a one shot lead and she's gonna go with the fairway metal here, Karen. Yeah, and same as she did yesterday too, but the bunkers down on the right do come into play quite a bit and with the wind off the right, uh, she's just trying to make sure that they stay out of play. This is a little draw. Concerned about it going too far left there by her reaction, and it is going to be just okay. That's been the danger area today. You've seen a few players knocking in those bunkers and even further left. Ah, how about this out there on the Hudson with the Fire Department of New York showing off for us. Back at the 15th hole. And sort of amphitheater there around the green. And we're watching Anna Davis for her birdie. It's up a little. As the car gets up on the top of that hill, it's going to go down to the right. But these greens are so tricky. There's so much here. All of these little undulations and the holes are set in these little sections, but you have to traverse all these slopes to get to them. Rose was quite an interesting car to have, but yeah. going with that being a bit more, uh, a bit more speed. I'm sure she would have learned much there. Mm. AJGA players playing alongside the pros, two separate competitions. At 16, hit on you, who made eagle here yesterday with the hole moved up, makes birdie here. She's currently leading the Aeon Risk Reward Challenge standings. That's the million dollar first prize over the course of the season. This is the Aeon Risk Reward Challenge hole. We talk about this hole playing easy. It's playing as only 10, a tenth of a stroke higher than the par 314. That's hard to think about. There's yeah. an extra, there's an extra hundred yards on one of those holes. Back at 15, and Rose Zhang just taking a look at this putt. Yeah, she's just got Anna Davis to to move her marker as well. So it shows you the, the kind of line that Anna's was on versus what Rose has got, which is very similar. So she does have that slope to climb as well, but she's nearer to the base of the slope, so doesn't have to deal with the, the same kind of slowness that, that Anna did. That being said, it's still going to break a little bit to the right as it crests the hill. And this is just the, the kind of putt that she's had all day long, just testing her pace. just hasn't been quite as dialed in as we've seen the first three days with that Karen here going with three putter links for a backstroke. Yeah, that's good it's uphill. I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah. Speed dialed in. Drive off the tee at the 17th for Jennifer Cupcho. This is her second. It was to see if she can take advantage of having a gap wedge in her hand. 118 yards to the hole, then going left to right. Stay there, there's a little ridge. Okay. Well, she's given herself a chance. I think she needs to birdie one of these last two holes here. While we have a moment, I want to remind you that the newest episode of Drive On LPGA All Access is out. You can go behind the scenes with Team USA and Team Australia at the Hanwan Life Plus International Crown. Find it on the LPGA social media channels. I suspect Rose Zhang's pro debut may make it into an upcoming episode. Drive On All Access. We'll see. 50. Davis for par. I'm sure we've had a good read of the rose putts as it went past the hole. She's been basically trailing by three points, so she can't really afford to miss that one. It's going to make the task harder over the closing three as she battles with Yana Wilson.
And EG did hit it in the bunker at 17. Out to here, this is her third. Yeah, from 50 yards. Settle down, so she's going to have a par putt to stay at nine under. Needs to make that. It's been a struggle for a tired Titikun, who had a couple of double bogeys on the front nine. Just not been striking the ball that well, and then, uh, and then the one time that she did strike the ball really well, which was here, it just kind of cut right through all the wind and ended up wrong over the green. And she chipped down to here. Good side there for her, yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't see her falling back like this in that 41 on the front nine. I think many people have seen that coming. Expected more from her. Louis Sachs, PGA Rolex Rookie of the Year last year, and what was an incredible season, and took it to the top of the world rankings. Now, Rose Zhang for par. Didn't really see a huge amount in this one, Tom. Yeah. Well, she's uh, cleaned those putts up very well today. And now she heads to a hole. And there's a good birdie chance. The driver ball 16th. We will go to the green at 17, where G has this to save par. Trying to make up for the fact she hit her tee shot into the bunker. Oh, she oh. thought she had that. Costly. So she's going to fall back to eight under. She's two behind. But of course, Rose has the, the birdie ball hole to play. So you can't really get a gauge until she's played 16, 17 and 18 are tricky. Seventeen more so than the closing hole. It's the third hardest today. The cup chair has a chance chance for the ninth birdie of this final round from the pros. Well, the way she hit that tee shot, getting it all the way down and inside 120 yards, where she was able to have the kind of club in where you could really control it and get it to sit down on the screen. Morgan, looking at this putt, it was kind of, kind of difficult to see a break. The, everything kind of pulls down to the left of the floor location where the, the green kind of melts away. But um, overall, I just see a pretty straight putt. See if she can get this pace right here. See if she can give this one enough pace. This is a great chance here. Get to 10 under par, tie the lead. I feel like she's got to make this. And it started left and never came back. And sometimes when you try to hit those a little extra, you end up pulling them. Plus, maybe it pulled a little bit that way. Two holes in a row, Morgan, where she couldn't convert. That's going to eat at her. I'm counting a few. I'd say maybe four or five putts of that length that she has not been able to convert on this back nine. Cup Cho cannot find the birdie when she really needed it. Rose Zhang waiting on the tee at 16. on the 17th green here in the final round of the Mizuho Americas Open. This is Haydan Yu, two back. Got to think this needs to go in. Good effort. Well, she's going to need a little bit of help and some magic on the 18th. But another good week for a player who at the moment looks like she would be the Louise Sachs Rolex Rookie of the Year. But of course, if Rose Zhang becomes a member of the LPGA and takes membership right away, she will be in the rookie race. She would move to the top, depending on what Haydan does here. Ardo and Hee Jeep 
left of the fairway at the 18th, the long straight second, in. straight into the wind. Happy. And we can say that again, 205 yards to the hole, 190 to the front. So looking to try to just scoop this up through the front, closely mown area, a little bit of room there. So she can just hit the solid, maybe keep the trajectory down and just hit a straight shot. She'll have a chance of getting it on this green. But it's just, it's awkward because her feet are on the edge of the fescue, so her heels are raised. Fall below her feet. It's sitting well in the rough, though. And just really couldn't move through that shot normally. And that comes up well short left in the rough. Chunked it a little bit, got the club to turn over. Hold it. She's got a lot of green to work with still from where she is. You can see that wind whipping in her jacket. Look at how awkward that stance is. And trying to hit such a long club from that awkward of a stance. I know a lot of times we think about an iron being turned over in the rough, but a similar thing can certainly happen to a hybrid or a fairway wood. Can grab the shaft or if it hits the ground first, shut the face down. Rosang leading by one, short 16. She opted to lay up and she has this much left for her second. How about the decision? I can't argue with her decision at all. Um, there was a significant work for her on the tee. Gary Hercandy knew um, that she has a one-shot lead. The whole location is tucked in a little tiny ball on the right, which makes, I think, getting a little pitch shot close to the hole quite easy. I was thinking, Karen, there's water right. We saw where Jennifer Kupcho was left, which is not much of a bargain. You can end up with a very awkward stance in that bunker. And here, playing it short, if she were to miss it a little bit left, she'd still have a decent shot. Exactly. In her position, I think that was the smartest play. I kind of feel like she's... I mean, you can't roll the dice too much. Ooh, there you go. Looks like a good decision now, doesn't it? Very nicely done. And that's potentially the experience of a caddy like Jason Gilroy, who has been in so many huge major moments coming down the stretch to win championships, including with Minji Lee last year at the U.S. Open. Ooh. And just calm, sound decision making there. She'll have that for a two shot lead with two to play. Meanwhile, Jennifer Kupcho from the fairway at 18. With a five iron in her hand, he really needs a really good one here back into the wind. back down to the bottom of that slope there still in the collection area not the easiest shot could potentially choose to put that if she wanted but not a lot of green to work with incredible you've got the first Augusta National Women's Amateur champion Jennifer Cupcho in contention you've got the most recent Rosang now a pro Leading it by one. You've got Anna Davis who won it last year competing for this AJGA title. Here is Anna. And this is an eagle putt. Karen? It, it is for eagle and for four points. And uh, it will help quite a bit. And Anna has been hitting some good quality shots. Hasn't really been rewarded very much. The putter has been really cold. For her, much like everybody else in this group, but played a tremendous shot to get it onto the front edge of the green here to have this chance. And this putt does have a great amount of swing down to the right, and it is downhill as well. Final group. I think that might change here, Grant. Um, I think a good 
too good looks at it. And the Davis one for Zhang. Up at the 18th, the third for Unhee G. 35 yard pitch shot from the rough. Decent line. A lot of good to work with. I'd have to make it. And I think she went for it. It'll be for par for Unhee. Back at 17. Hannah Wilson battling with Anna Davis in the AJGA event. Trying to find the green. It was an aggressive play there. It's going to run away just off the back edge. It's one, one club too many there, Tom. That carried a long way past that flag stick. And at the 16th, the tie tit to Kun for birdie. Yeah, she played her own second shot from the left bunker. But she was just the very front of the left bunker, so had a lot of green to use. Finally, you get a birdie. Yeah. And two more chances. How surprised are you at Atiyah's day to day? She was the name on the leaderboard that I was expecting to really make a run today. Playing with Rose, put some pressure on her, and it just wasn't meant to be. Too many early stumbles for Ataya. Well, 17 and 18 are tough. By no means guarantees for par, but for Rose Zhang, this to go up two with two to play. Opportunity big time for Rose. Yeah, that was a big miss. Ran out of a little bit of pace. Didn't play enough break one or the other. And what an opportunity here to really give herself some breathing room going into the last two difficult holes. And mentally, even more so, missing a short putt like that. She's been so solid on those putts so far today hasn't had her best ball striking but she has really done well from this five foot circle range all for par this yeah. one's birdie just low all the way well an up and down for cup joe to post nine under this is her third the percentage chance of making this has to deal with a little mound Really well judged for pace. Yeah, that, that was really well done. Very hard up. to make from there. But a ton of fringe. And Anna Davis. For a birdie and three points. So she'll get to 140 points. Four behind Yana Wilson. Hard put here for Unhiji at the 18th. Seems like she's uh, faced a few of these. She's such a good putter and really a, a nice game to watch, but uh, just struggling a little bit down the stretch. Bogey the last hole, this to at least finish with a good par. Just two costly drives on 17 and 18. Will be enough for Unhi to not not win here this week. With a few under par rounds among the last groups. 17. A moment ago, second shot for Aditi Ashok. Got to be looking at birdie, birdie, and that sets up a putt to get to eight under par. Lead is 10. This is Cupcho for her par to post nine under. 
one more important putt. Just about a two-footer. The National Women's Amateur Champ is going to wait and see if she has some more golf on another Anwa Champ and Rose Zhang. Really good round in tough conditions. 69 for Petro. 17. Yeah, the tee shot here for Anna Davis. She's four points back, so Yana Wilson looking really good. Anna, I think, has got a got a hole a second shot make an eagle on one of these last two holes that's not easy these two holes are pretty great for time and the nice tee shot there in other words it's struggling for her power in this hole so may help a little bit fine performance from all of the AJGA players, and especially the ones we've seen at the top of the leaderboard. I'm talking about rounds in the 60s. And really, really good score. Now Rose. And I can't underestimate how tough it is to play golf the way those rounds play golf today. Just making piles, not having that many opportunities for birdie. Knowing that you're on the back foot all day long trying to save piles. Dead and she's just practiced down the yeah, Wonderful. If the putter had been working for Rose, she'd be running away with it. And it has been uh, a lot closer than she may have liked in the shadow of New York City and the Statue of Liberty about a mile away. Radiant there in the fading light. Here on the 17th green, Mizuho Americas Open. And Rose Zhang has a one shot lead, but a test here, Karen, on the putting green. This is literally making my stomach churn because this is so tough. You've got that really steep slope that she has to go up, and in only two steps from the very top of that slope, it goes down towards the hole, making judging the speed of this incredibly difficult. And as I walked up to the green and I saw it, and like, my goodness, this is brutally tough. Now it's got to sit. Now it's got to sit down. It's going to keep running a bit. Okay, it's a little further than it looks from that <laughs> angle. It's probably 10 feet by. There you go. She's hit every green on this back nine, Tom, but she's left herself a lot of putts like that. Whereas yesterday we saw, I think, her shots that she hit on 14, on 15, of course, that driver on 16. She was just flagging it, even in tough conditions yesterday. And a putt like that is going to test your nerve and your resolve under these intense pressure situations. Uh, Anna Davis, birdie battling away with Diana Wilson in the AJGA competition. This. Uh, might need to go in. Also difficult, Tom. Uh, back uphill towards the hold again. Oh, good. Go for it. Right. <laughs> it's going to be a four. Anna Davis ranked third in the Rolex AJGA rankings. has one win on the AJGA circuit that came back in 2021 the Ping Heather Farr Classic we got Jennifer Cupcho in the house at nine under we hit on you trying to join her is for birdie it's going to be another great finish for hit on Two-year-old rookie from Korea wins on the KLPGA and keeps knocking on the door in her eighth start. 
She keeps putting herself so close, so much in position where we feel like maybe this is the time, this is the week. Felt like today, not being in the final group. She talked about how nervous she was in Phoenix earlier this year, being in the final group. This was maybe a more comfortable spot for her, but just not quite the day that she needed. You have three players really with a legitimate chance to win here. Mathematically, Rose, Jennifer Cupcho, and Aditya Shook. And here's Rose at 17. This is for the paw. This one I think any time is going to have just a slight bit of pull towards the left. She's had all pars since the fifth hole. The putter has not worked for birdies, but the pars it has. Can it work again here? What a time to make a point. And Rose takes the one shot lead to the 18th hole, one hole away from a historic moment for the LPGA Tour and cementing her name into the professional history books, having written it so many times in the amateur history books of golf. You wondered if that putt on 16 showed some of her nerves. This putt on 17 sure didn't. That was as clutch as it gets. And the first putt was, was so tough. I had watched Yana Wilson in the group ahead have a very similar putt, and it came back about 30 feet down that hill. So although she knocked it 10 feet by, that was the place to miss it. So it was almost a smart miss for Rose to have enough pace to take it past the hole. She makes the one coming back. And she walks to the final hole with that one shot lead. What's the word unflappable? What we've been using with Rose Zhang. There's a tournament host, Michelle Lee. If she could only be watching right now, I think this is why she's not. It's tough to get it done. It's tough to finish the job. You have 72 holes of golf playing with the lead nearly all day today. You're going to be tested. You're going to have some tough moments, but that putt was huge. To your point, the last four leaders going into the final round of the LPGA Tour have come up short. Rosang leads by one. Here's Ataya Titikun at 18. And this is a pretty good tee shot here. Nice one to, uh, to look at to follow. That's way down there, especially into the wind. Tanya just had a little lull in the wind when she hit. It's just starting to freshen up just again, just a smidge. Here's another one of the tee boxes that they share, the LPGA and the AJPA. This one's a little down the left side. Two-shot lead when this final round began in her professional debut. The lead is one. Puts the peg in the ground at 18. Wind off the right with some hurt in this. Bunkers down the right and left. Leading the field in driving accuracy this week. There it is, there it is! Go. Let's go, let's go! Oh my. That close, just getting a kick to the right. We'll have to have Karen check out just how close that is to the lip. I'd imagine she's too far from the green to be able to get that up on the putting surface. Playing with her friend Anna Davis and so many of her other peers from the AJGA. And here is what's at stake. We're literally seeing something perhaps today that's never been seen. Obviously, when Beverly Hansen won and beat Babe Zaharias in 1951, there was no television coverage of it. Lydia Co won a couple of times as a sponsor's invite. The year Rose was born, you go back 20 years, it's only happened four times and she could 
do what she said is every female player's dream, make the LPGA Tour if she finishes this off. I like the way that she's walking here, still confidently with her head high, even though she hasn't had her best stuff. She's got a game face on, a comfortable pairing in playing with Anna Davis, which we've talked about all week, the juniors being in this field, really giving Rose a little bit of a more comfortable feeling being around players who she's known for a long time and grown up playing with. She's only two years out of competing in HAJ events herself. I don't think she's going to be too thrilled when she gets up and sees where this golf ball ends up. You think about Tiger Woods. Like Rose, never really contended as an amateur in a PGA Tour event. Rose hasn't really been near the lead on a Sunday in an LPGA event. Tiger turned pro, hello world, tied for 60th in Milwaukee. Shall we be very close to winning California for debut? You played great, your first professional event. You just don't see what Rose Zhang is doing. And with all of the hype for her to live up to it in this way, it's, uh, it's just something you don't see. Karen, I saw you walking up toward Rose's ball. What can you tell us? Well, um, she is fairly close to that lip. Um, it does mean, though, that it is on a slight upslope. Uh, it's not a huge upslope. She has 140 yards to the front. I think you can get a nine iron out of this lie, I think comfortably, and get it up over the lip. Um, eight iron, mm, I feel less confident over, and I think it very much depends on how far down she wants to take this. And then I think it's going to be in the hands of her short game. It's going to be a course management decision that player Jason Gilroy on the left will certainly help her with. But go back to thinking about everything around Rose coming into this week. I was with her when she was playing in the Pro-Am on Wednesday, and she just looked at me and said, oh, it's been so chaotic. And to be able to turn that off when she's been inside the ropes this week, she's done everything that's been asked of her outside the ropes, interviews galore, media every day. And... Just to mentally be able to turn it off and shut down those expectations. And I love what she said to you, Karen, yesterday when you tried to ask her how she felt about the expectations. She said, I appreciate everyone's support. Well, that's a really smart reply. That's somebody who's uh, very savvy with, with their reply for their own mental sanity because what she's saying is, I'm not thinking about that, but I'm turning it around and I'm looking at what I want to make it about, which is how supported I feel. Well, as if the pressure isn't intense enough, there's a ruling happening up around the 18th green. And so Rosang is going to have to wait. Cheyenne Knight getting relief from the grandstand. Rose opted to lay up on the drivable 16th when the green was uh, still occupied from the group ahead. Her lead is one. If you think of the high leverage situations she's been in today, this week, this year, just in the last two months. It's been impressive, and she knew that she knew that, that was going to be her last Augusta National Women's Amateur, her last chance to win that championship. Did it after losing a five-shot lead, going on to win in a playoff against Jenny Bay, and coming from four back at NCAA's just what 11 days ago, yeah. and here in her professional debut. And then having to wait, icing the kicker here. Hasn't made a birdie all day, but she has had some incredible saves for par, and this was one of them at the eighth. Fabulous bunker shot, everything sloping away from her. No green to work with. Roll that in to 
Stay tied for the lead at the time. At the 11th, a long birdie oh. birdie past the ball. Talk about how, how important those five, six footers are, even for par. On a tough golf course, this golf course playing well over par today. And this just moments ago at the 17th, with her lead one, Rose rolled it in. Anticipation grows. Take it up to the green. And Yana Wilson, who leads the AJGA competition by three. Long putt for Birdie. Up one slope there, and then another slope as it gets closer to the hole. If she makes that, she's going to force Anna Davis to have to hole out to tire. Here at the 18th. Parents Jim and Olga go out and play just about every day in Vegas. Jim from Hawaii moved to Vegas. Rihanna was born. Spent some time in Florida as well. All of these players know Rose. Many of them talked about how they idolize a young woman now who has been their peer. Her weight continues. Also, not with a mental sport as it is, without the ball, with the stationary ball in front of you. And then she's had to wait so much in this round on this back nine today. Cheyenne Knight has this for par. It's been a great year, but. Disappointing Sunday for Cheyenne here. It's going to drop her out of the top ten. I think we can surmise by the fact that Rose hasn't played that she is going to play something up toward the green rather than just pitching out. So to stay loose. She's got a guy on her bag. First week together. He's been catting and winning since before she was born. Jason Gilroy. As you mentioned, he was part of Minji Lee's fabulous. 2022 season and 2021 when she won majors in consecutive years. A lot of major championships for Jason Gilly, as he's known. And you think he's been helpful this week for her? Tremendously helpful in difficult conditions. It's been a lot about positioning your golf ball in the right spot on this golf course. You can get into trouble very quickly. Aditi Ashok needed to make birdie to join Jennifer Cupcho at nine under. She's got this instead for par. She leads the LET points list. It feels like a win's coming for Aditi on the LPGA Tour. She's been a staple on the leaderboard on the LPGA Tour for the last month and a half, and she just keeps putting herself so, so close. I do feel like she will get it done. She's had the lead for the first couple of hours today. Now Yana Wilson for her par. This is worth two points. And to put her a step closer to a prestigious HAGA title. Easy two putt there. Putting with the crowds and the nerves that she has to be feeling in this moment. That's awesome. She loves the big crowd, she told you. All right, so Anna Davis is going to have to pull out five points. Jennifer Cupcho, who won a playoff about a year ago, beating Nellie Porta and Leona McGuire at the Meyer LPGA Classic up in Michigan. Trying to stay loose. She had the shorts on earlier. That may tell you something. It got really cold yesterday as the sun went down. Same thing happening here this afternoon. Patty Patrick Smith and his wife, Jennifer's peer on the LPG tour, and the tally. A 
long wait is ending. The green is clearing. Uh, Karen, is it Anna Davis first? It sure is. She's got 172. And initially, she had six on that, but has uh, clubbed up to a to a five iron. And the ball is really above her feet here, so I have to pull on just a little bit tighter to stop this club from from turning over. He's back into this wind. And it's a cold wind now. He's on the left side of the green, got a turn. It's going to be better than I think she thought it could be. But not enough. So Yada Wilson has clinched it on the AJGA side. And now Rose Zhang up one. Impressive play here, Grant. She's got a five on out. This is a steep lip from five on. Yeah. Gonna have to play a little cut shot to get a little bit more highs on this one. This is a big risk here, Karen. Gotta get it out of the bunker. Gotta give yourself a putt for par. Things could have gone wrong there. Wow, I am impressed. So impressed by that shot. Just stayed really steady with her lower body. You've got to catch it perfectly solid in order to get it up over this lip. Shallows the club. Look at how high that went with a five iron out of the bunker. But the sound. Just perfect. Absolutely perfect. And while it's not on the green, now she can let her short game do the work. She's been chipping it beautifully this week. Already chipped in twice. Michelle Wee, her mentor, said she wasn't sure if she could watch. She liked what she saw there. Olivia Coe couldn't do it. Michelle couldn't do it. Think of all the greats, Dr. Nancy Lopez, a collegiate superstar. She couldn't win in her professional debut. But Rose Zhang, just days after winning her second NCAA title, which no one had ever done, just days after turning 20. Yeah, it's a big welcome for Rose, not just here at the 18th, but to professional golf. When I spoke to her coach at Stanford, Ann Walker, earlier this week, she said she's ready. I'd say she is. Yeah, I think so. She also said that just Rose never takes anything for granted. She's as humble as they come. And here is a moment where you cannot take this for granted. You have to stay focused and committed until the very last second. Is the LPGA ready for her is the question. It's maybe more appropriate. Looks like she's got a wedge in her hand. You noted she's already chipped in a couple of times this week. But with this stage, the backdrop of the Big Apple, with everything she's accomplished on the amateur level to come out in her first start as a pro, up and down to make history. And the shot is back into the wind. You can play this one quite aggressively. She's going to land into an upslope. There is the water for the green behind. This flag. If you leave the ball a little bit short, we'll end up with an up part.
that shot. There is something in great athletes where you're not necessarily quite as nervous as quietly confident. She knows she can pull that shot off. She's done it many, many times in her life. But you'd have to think she had to be a little bit unsettled over that shot right there. And another putt for par. And it really has been the defining moment for her today. Finding a way to get the putts to drop, including just moments ago with the 17th from even farther away than she is now. Anna Davis now for birdie. This one's going to be up here. And then we'll back down here towards the hole as it turns to the right. She keeps things very simple. Well, there's only been one left-handed winner on the LPGA Tour. That was nearly 50 years ago. You wonder if Anna Davis might be the next. She's expected to start at Auburn in January of 2024. But you'd think it's only a matter of time before she sets her sights on the LPGA Tour. The last NCAA champion to win on the LPGA Tour is this woman, Jennifer Cupcho, who won it in 2018, won a major championship last year, then won two more times last summer. She's so chill, the Anna Davis girl. She's just like... She's just like... I played with her yesterday, and it was just like this. It's like a familiar drawl of Emma Tally. She's so chill. These players on this stage, they've all won on that enormous stage at Augusta National. Jennifer Cup, Joanna Davis, and now Rose Zhang has a putt to do what's only been done one other time in LPGA history. A win in the professional debut. She do it again, Karen. Just got to go to that world one more time. This pub is up there. The mistake was off the tee. Holding that tee shot into the bunker, making it nearly impossible to get to the green. I was nervous watching this. She had to be. Even Ataya Titikun, who superstar at age 20 in her own right. Michelle we watching. And she had a putt to win on the final green at the Augusta National Women's Amateur. Missed it. Ended up going into a playoff and still getting the job done. So mentally, she is strong enough to turn everything around mentally and focus on just what's in front of her and not dwell. I love that she's smiling here. There's still more golf to play. Can't be upset about the fact that you didn't just win the tournament. But hey. 
I've got to go take care of my job right now. Rose Zhang and Jennifer Kocho going overtime in the Big Apple. This was the putt just moments ago to win in regulation. Oh, no. to the right. I don't think that was the mistake on this hole. The last roll from the fairway into the fairway bunker. So Zhang and Kupcho, who was brilliant on a tough day today, will go to a playoff to win this inaugural Mizuho America's Open. And of uh, the 24 AJGA players. The winner is Yana Wilson. And she is standing by with Kay Cockrell. She sure is, and I'm I'm just imagining that you are truly elated to be the inaugural winner of the AJGA portion of this Mizuho Americas Open. And it was such a unique tournament to bring to the forefront and you are the champion the first champion what does this moment mean to you it really means a lot i mean ever since the tournament kind of announced uh that it was going to happen i was just super excited to even play in it and now i'm the winner so I, it's super cool and to win alongside whoever's going to win in this playoff is pretty cool you just told me a little bit ago that you were so nervous yesterday when you teed it up for the first time alongside Min Minji Lee, who's one of your idols, and Cheyenne Knight. And then in the final group, and then you played in the second to last group. What was that moment like for you stepping up on that tee? And you roasted it, by the way. You hit a perfect tee shot. <laughs> yeah, no, not every single day you get to play with your favorite pro. So I think it was uh, a really cool opportunity for me. Um, and just nothing like it and today I was a little bit less nervous kind of learning from what I did yesterday kind of taking that on to today and uh, just kind of went with the flow more today. You've won a lot of junior golf tournaments. You are the reigning U.S. girls junior champ. You're going to be playing in the U.S. Open at Pebble Beach later this summer. Where does this win and this this whole week in general rank for you with your experience thus far in golf? It's definitely up there. Um, playing with the pros is just super cool in general, and I think that added a lot of pressure to a lot of us juniors, so I feel like it was really cool whoever got to, like, handle it, I guess. But, um, yeah, no, this definitely has to be one of my better wins. <laughs> Well, it was a treat to watch you play. I enjoyed watching you win the girls' junior last summer, and I look forward to see you try to defend that championship and also play at the Women's U.S. Open. It's going to be a great summer for you. Congratulations. Grant? Thank you, Kay. Congratulations to Yana. Ms. Rose Zhang. Jennifer Kupcho make their way back to the 18th. She just hung on all day. Par save after par save. Only one just grazed that right arc of the cup on the last. Any feeling as to whether either of these players would have any advantage? You look to Jennifer Kupcho, who had a better day today on the golf course. So more confidence. She has come from behind to tie Rosang, whereas Rose had a tough day. Didn't have her best stuff. Struggled a little bit with her golf swing. But like I said before, I was impressed with the way that Rose was able to refocus in a similar situation at Augusta National Women's Amateur. And yes, while that's an amateur event, it's arguably the biggest stage and the most pressure that you would face as an amateur trying to close that event out. There are a lot of interested spectators here on the property and watching worldwide, including your boss of the Solheim Cup, Captain Stacy Lewis. If Rose wins, she becomes an LPGA member and becomes eligible to make the Solheim Cup team. She wouldn't get any Solheim Cup points for this, but she would become a member, which you have to be to make the Solheim Cup team. And what happens in the next few minutes could determine whether or not we see Rose in Spain. 
Stacy and I have messaged a little bit as this broadcast has progressed. I thought I noticed that. She is definitely has her watchful eyes on Rose. And these two have a special bond. <laughs> okay, ladies, so it's going to be Sunday's playoff. Okay, we're going to go 18 18. And then we got to keep going. We're going to go 1 2 18. Okay, Jennifer has the honor. So Karen is going to stick with Rose. She runs all day. And then Kate Hockle will be with Jennifer Cupcho. Morgan, you talked about how relatively wide this this fairway is, but I think in these circumstances and the fact that when the tee's moved up, it, it definitely brings that left bunker into play if you pull it. Uh, Jennifer hit a, a gorgeous tee shot here on the 72nd hole, hoping to duplicate it right now. Okay, I just think about how crazy this game of golf is. Jennifer has had such a lackluster season, especially to her standards. She only has one top 20. That coming in the very limited field Hilton Grand Vacations Tournament of Champions. This heading way right. Yeah, that is in the fescue. It cleared the, the bunker, the last bunker, but it definitely is up in the high grass. We can somewhat see it through the high grass, which means the lie might not be too bad could still chase something up on this green. Now Rose. Obviously, with the memories fresh in her mind but as to what happened just a few minutes ago, but the, the fact that she left this 18th green uh, smiling towards uh, her friends that were waiting for her at the back of the green was, was a good oh, mentality. Bunker to the right bunker here, the second time around on 18. So both have missed the fairway right. First hole of a playoff. And this is the fifth straight playoff in a stroke play event on the LPGA Tour. It's never happened. And, uh, a lot going on this week has never happened before or not in a long time. Rose Zhang in her professional debut against a player, Jennifer Cupcho, like her, an NCAA champ, a winner at Augusta National. Both have missed the fairway to the right. And uh, let's get a report on uh, each of these tee shots. Karen, what can you tell us about uh, Rose Zhang's tee shot? Well, Rose has 156 to the front, 181 to the flag, but that's again beside the point. She's going to have to try and advance this as close as she can to that green. And uh, if she gets it anywhere near where she did in regulation, she'll be doing really well because, again, you've got a really steep lip in front of her. And uh, she is on a slight upslope. She's in this part of this uh, bunker where other players have been before. It has been raked quite nicely, but. It's not like exactly like it's sitting up on a nice little tuft of, of sand. either it's it's certainly she's got a swing on it 136 to the front 161 to the hole and this wispy grass this fescue like grass 
lures you into thinking you can really hit it well, but boy, you can get your club kind of wrapped up or impeded with that long, those long, uh, thin parts of the glass. She's definitely a strong ball striker. You want to come down on this a little steeper with a lot of fun, a lot of, a lot of club head speed. She's going with a seven iron. If she catches this cleanly, that will get her just past the front of the green. This has to be aware of it. Going left. some pressure on Jennifer by hitting a solid chip up there. And Michelle Wee, husband Johnny, daughter McKenna is likely up there somewhere as well. Her folks, Bo and BJ, have been here this week. There's McKenna. Michelle stepped away for the game and said she wanted opportunities like this to grow the game. And has she ever? The Mizuho America's Open, which she is hosting. She's going to hand out the trophy to the winner. Will it be Rose Zhang in her first start as a professional? Will it be Jennifer Kupcho? Yeah. The air. Just there's a cold breeze, yeah. but there's also a lot of tension from us, from everybody watching around 18, from everyone watching at home. And you just think about how precious wins are. So Rose in her debut, Jennifer Kupcho, remember, she was a superstar coming out of college. She got her LPGA status at the end of 2018 and deferred her membership so she could finish her amateur career. She finished in style. She won the Augusta National Women's Amateur. She made her pro debut this week, four years ago. It's a little longer wait for Jennifer to get into contention to win. Now she's a major champ. But as you noted, it's not been a great start to the season. So a win for her would be deeply meaningful as well. Karen, have you had a chance to take a look? She's always on the board here. You can see it's a lot of foreign parts of the, of the fairway. Mm -hmm. Very similar from regulation, just a little bit farther away. The land into that upslope, and it is all coming to the high, plus into that land. Really difficult to get it to the hole from here. to the hole she didn't get the luxury of the lead of what it does uh, inside of 15 feet but knows that this is on the slow side jennifer made a wardrobe change with the time that she had after finishing regulation put on pants and it has gotten quite chilly go. here and she was talking we were talking about how the coolness yeah. in the air has been difficult to deal with looking like she's going to look so I'm going to take this up, try to land it, one hop and stop it. means 
his first playoff hole. Definitely learned from Rose there that it was a bit slow. Gave it a little bit extra. And now Rose has the chance again to put pressure on Jennifer by getting the ball in the hole first. Karen, you saw this putt not long ago. Rose saw it as well. She just missed on the right. And it's been one of those days for her. You have to pull those bad putts out of the way and just remember the good point you made back then in the 17th in regulation and put the smooth stroke on this and just apply the pressure to Jennifer. We thought she might learn from the putt that she just missed get barely it, on the break. It. Played this one to break just a fraction. How clutch get is it, that? It. She's a quick study. In her first start as a pro, she's on the verge of a victory. And now for Jennifer Kupcho, this to force a second playoff hole. It was a crowd pleasing putt for sure by Rose. They are definitely leaning on her side. This for Jennifer Kupcho to burst their bubble. are two players who've stood over massive putts in their young lives. Really, really solid stroke there. She had not been able to get much to fall on this back nine today. What a moment there. We're going back to the 18th tee as the sun sets here in Jersey. inaugural Mizzou Ho America's Open had so much anticipation with a star-studded field then the word came that Rose Zhang was going to make her professional debut in the shadow of Manhattan just a few miles away here at Liberty National which has hosted so many big men's events Michelle we the host it has lived up to the hype and so has Rose Zhang coming into this week with everything going on for Rose and Honestly, for any player of Rose's stature in a professional debut, making the cut, finishing top 20, would have been a really impressive achievement. And yet, here she is with the chance to win for the very first time on the LPGA Tour. Game membership, everything that comes with it, it's just astounding. Oh, no, hybrid's fine. Definitely. All right. It's going to pass out. I lost plenty of club on the street. Only trying to run at 70. Just, just nice control. Okay. Yep. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 Six or five pounds and you're flat here. If you land it near 170, you're going to pitch it into the upslope. Here comes a 
the trouble down the right side here. to the wind, really controlled her ball flight well. This is the best swing she's made all day. A day when her swing has failed her. The player who came in with the hitting over 90% of her fairways and 80% of her greens. She knew it. Look at her, watch this. Could her first birdie of this Sunday be on the second playoff hole? Maybe to win. Jennifer Cupcho now. She heard it. She saw it. She loses it though. If it flows, happy to have an eight iron in her hand to see if she can get in there, in there tight as well. Good looking swing. Trying to fade it a little, and it's not. Oh, it slaps down. That is at the front of the green. That wind just popped it. In it moved low, it sounded. What a difference. One with a hybrid, one with an eight iron. Going first. With the pressure on. Only player. Those in the LPGA field. Without a birdie. And yet she's got one from close range. And this setting, Morgan, you think about what we've seen already this year and what we're going to see. Going to see Baltus roll in a few weeks. Going to see Pebble Beach for the U.S. Women's Open. These are settings that these great women deserve. And they're putting on a show here tonight. Certainly bringing the drama here. And it has kept us on the edge of our seats for the last few hours. Is the torch being passed here along New York Harbor from one NCAA champ who's become an LPGA winner and major champion to Rose Zhang. Just getting her professional career started. Obviously advantage Rose, but Jennifer Cupcho is trying to get a feel for this one, Kay. Yeah, this is this is just uh, one of those prototypical long putts that it has a really low percentage chance of making. In fact, Morgan, you're here grinding to two putt. It's it's by my count a 63 footer. So uh, having to deal with getting the speed right, the little movement on this green, trying to give it a, a legitimate chance. But uh, this would take some kind of miracle for this thing to drop. Feel some pressure as well, knowing that Rose is in there tight, that she may very well need to make this putt. Yeah, with such a low percentage chance of making it, you, you, you still want to give it a go. But you want to ensure you make a four and force her to have to make the putt to win it. Rose's putt is not good. We've seen those few chips that we've seen from short of this green from both Rose and Jennifer. This is going to be very slow. double the distance, almost triple the distance away that what Rose faces for her birdie. That, just have to chalk that up to really trying to force it, really trying to make it. And now this is what she said, Kay. You, Rose's putt isn't a gimme. No. 
but it sure will look a lot better once uh, if this doesn't go in. Um, I don't think uh, Jennifer's probably had a putt that long, at least that I saw on the back nine. She might have been the front nine. If she misses, then Rose will have two putts to win. put the pressure on with that brilliant shot and now Karen two putts. Champion is with Karen Stupples. Thanks, Rose. What a what an absolutely tremendous performance. Just two weeks ago, you were winning the NCAA championships. In your wildest dreams, did you ever imagine that you would be standing here an LPGA champion? No. What is happening? I just can't believe it. Um, it was just last week when I won NCAA's with my teammates and. Um, to, to turn pro and uh, come out here. It's just been amazing. I've enjoyed the journey. Gilly was on my back the whole time. I had so many cheers around me, all my friends and family. It was just so thankful. It was quite a battle out there today. How were you able to remain so composed and to get the job done today? Yeah, this golf course is rough. Um, I really got a bit of everything, got a taste of the pressure, got a taste of the wind, and I tried to stay composed as always. Um, I knew that golf was just a grind and you really had to dig deep. So once again, that's what I did, and I'm glad I'm here. And what about this reception? All these young fans bringing you fabulous bouquets of roses I mean it's so so fitting you're now a role model for these young players how does that make you feel it's incredible I want to continue doing that I want to continue um, trying to carve a path for young kids to just follow their dreams and I'm so thankful that the young kids enjoy me enjoy my golf and um, I'm just so thankful for the support so um, I will continue to do what I'm doing I'll continue to fight I'll continue to work hard and hopefully everyone can follow along you're a very worth, worthy champion. Many, many congratulations from all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a bit surreal, Morgan, what we're seeing here. It's just a storybook week for Rosang. You could not write a script better than this right here. And wow. We're going to see a lot more of Rosang on the LPGA Tour this summer. And maybe out. this fall. I was stressing myself. On the U.S. Yeah, Cup team. She's now eligible. Oh. <laughs> he did so good. Oh, 
A storybook finish and a history book finish. Just the second ever in the 73 years of the LPGA Tour to win her professional debut. She picks up 500 CME points. Take a look at the updated standings. Jin Young Ko, number one. Oh, but the, my God. I'm like the story of the week. And maybe the story of the year. Not just women's golf. Maybe in the entire sport. Rosang, amateur great and LPGA winner. She said being with her AJGA pals relaxed her this week. She played relaxed. It was great to see them all congratulate her there at the end. This is so impressive, so composed, on and off the golf course without her best stuff today, and still got the job done. I got it, I got it. Yeah, what's up? All right, all right, ready? Ready? Say hi, guys. Wherever they are. Oh, is that how you So Rose Zhang, in her oh. professional debut, wins a two-hole playoff against a major champion, Jennifer Cupcho, and the rest of the front page of the leaderboard. Coming up next here on Golf Channel, it's Golf Central news highlights and analysis from the world of golf. A big look back at this momentous day in women's golf. We've got the ShopRite LPGA Classic coming your way Friday. That's a 54-hole event. Remember, noon Eastern time on Golf Channel and Peacock. Thanks to Jesse West, our producer, Pete Esposito, our director, and the entire hardworking team of women and men who brought you the pictures and the sounds this week. From Morgan Pressel, for Tom Abbott, Kay Cockrell, Karen Stupples, and all of us, I'm Grant Boone. She's an early bloomer, Rose Zhang. In her first start as a professional, following the wins of the Augusta National Women's Amateur and the NCAAs, wins her first start as a pro, the Mizuho America's Open. And she takes Manhattan.